Hi there, straight up three o'clock. I recording with you on the radio and online at santafe.com, keyword KBAC. So many times I interview and have musical guests in the studios that, uh, well, for lack of a better word, are repeat offenders. Uh, it's really nice to. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're getting ready to get that cuffs put on him. Uh, it's really nice to welcome a brand new band into the studio, although you guys have been around a while. First of all, let me just say uh, the Treasures of the Asequia Madre may be my favorite name of a band uh, in this town in a long, long time. Um, we've got Freddie Lopez and Jerry Ferris in the studios with us. Uh, Santa Fe's dynamic duo will be doing a show uh, Thursday night at Vanessi in Santa Fe, 7 p.m. No cover charge to get in, so you can uh, check out this brand new band and we're going to check them out on the radio right now welcome gentlemen Hola. thank you very much it is great to have you both here uh, how'd you come up with the name or should i even bother I, asking i have wanted to use the name for a long time treasure of the Yaseki madre and of course um, it's a take off on a, the, the bogey movie great great fan of the bogey movie i watched it with my grandson recently uh, trying to uh, trying to introduce him to some of the great lines in movies and that movie of course has one what was that line i'm Badges. Oh. You don't need no stinking badges. <laughs> of course, that, that made it into quite a few movies after yes. that, too, <laughs> including my favorite, Blazing Saddles. Um, so you guys have, uh, you know, are so familiar to me from playing around town. Um, uh, how about your pedigrees? Um, who have you guys played with in the past? You know, some of the bands and musicians you guys have uh, uh, played with. Uh, let's see. I used to play with the Santa Fakers, the Santa Fakers. Um, also uh, dabbled with other people in town like Jim Allman, Alex Marial, and currently I play with Broom Dust Caravan and Anthony Leon in the Chain, and I'm also going to be doing some duos with Kate Mann from Taos at Vanessi, and the Nolan Redmond Band, a country, new country band at Titans. So Freddie, spreading it around, yeah, spreading, spreading the love around. around. And, uh, how and I don't need no badges. <laughs> <laughs> how about you, Jerry? Uh, well, I played for many years with uh, with uh, Frank Ricard and, and various uh, and sundry others. Uh, I think we, we used the name uh, we used, uh, Wild Abandon and uh, then Reckless Abandon. Excuse me, Reckless Abandon. And then uh, the Jerry Ferris All Stars for a long time. I've done a lot of presenting too. I was entertainment director at, at Jackalope Pottery and started the uh, program on the on the plaza that's now called Santa Fe Stages and it was called Santa Fe Summer Scene. Oh, and nice. then for a long, long, long time, from 1968 on, with a band, a notorious band called The Family Lotus. The Family Lotus. Lotus. Oh, okay. Well, uh, let's give our listeners a sample of what you guys are up to lately. We've got uh, in studio with us Freddie Lopez and Jerry Ferris, the treasures of the Asequia Madre. <laughs>
splash in the shallows where the water runs cold and clean. The monsoon raises the smell of the sage, paints the forest dark green. Still, you can find the wild places where only the wild things go. Out in the great wide open, out in New Mexico. Who wrote that one? Uh, I wrote that one. Jerry, uh, both you and uh, Freddie have played around, as you mentioned, with a lot of different artists. Now, uh, where do you see this uh, collaboration going? Is this a, a one-off, or are you guys going to be recording? Or going to Vanessa's on Thursday night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's the, the immediate future. <laughs> How about long-range plans? Long uh, range plan. I know you guys play with a lot of different groups around town, so uh, where do you see... Uh, Freddie does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've just been friends since a long time, and So you take it day by day and, uh, you know, yeah. keep coming up with new music. Yeah. Now, the, the music you guys are, are playing right now, is this new music you've recorded to, or that you're getting together just now, or are these songs that have been in your catalogs, your respective catalogs, for a while? I, well, that particular song I just sang, I'm a silversmith in real life, mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> uh, I had to move my shop in the early part of the year, uh, just almost a year ago, and... Uh, there were, uh, I live out off in s the south part of the county, and, and uh, between Cerritos and Madrid, and Helen gone off the road, and, and uh, in my shop were boxes that had been there at least eight years, and one of them had bits and pieces of lyric in it, and I found that song in there, and uh, uh, two verses in the chorus, and I had no idea when I wrote it. I, I uh, put music to it that day, and the next day I added the last verse in a time-honored manner, riding on the center of the steering wheel, 65 miles an hour, <laughs> going down Highway 14 on the, on an envelope from another songwriter. <laughs> That's how you write songs. That's the way it <laughs> usually works out. Well, I know you do some spoken word poetry, too. Well, uh, well, that's true. You know, I've been in Santa Fe a long time. I came here in 1968. I believe you came in 79. 79. 79. Well, Romulo's been friends basically since then. Wow. And you know, you know, Ira, the Santa Fe is the home of alternative everything. You know that. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you know what a live food diet is, sir? A live food diet? Live food diet? No. Yeah. No? No. Oh, live food's where you just eat fruits and vegetables raw. And I was checking out a Whole Foods one day and the young lady said, what do you think the pros and cons of a live food diet would be? We had a short and interesting conversation and I went home and I wrote something called live food or a cowboy in the health food store. <laughs> I asked a feller in the grocery store, did he like chicken fried, broiled, baked, or stewed? He looked at me with disdain and swore, I only eat live food. Well, I admit that took me back a bit because I'd never heard the term. And to tell the truth, just the thought of it sort of made me squirm, and I wondered what kind of diet that might be. It sort of made me frown because I figured it'd take a heap of energy just to run them suckers down. But I guess you couldn't overeat if you didn't want to kill it. And if your food was live at dinner time, well, hell, you wouldn't need a skillet. But jackrabbit even cooked is pretty doggone tough. Try and eat one live, I think one might be enough. And coyotes, you know, they're out there too if you really want to choose them. But, buddy, they got teeth and they know how to use them. And if there's one thing that'll ruin my day, I tell you for a fact, it's when the doggone entree tries to bite me back. So somehow this live food diet seemed to me it's kind of mean, but I guess you get your fiber right there with your protein. And while I know a healthy diet is something to admire, still I believe that cooking is why God invented fire. Oh, good point, good point. <laughs> All righty, well, we're here with Freddie Lopez and Jerry Ferris, a <laughs> Santa Fe's dynamic duo, otherwise known as the Treasures of the Asequia Madre, and they will be at Vanessa again Thursday night, uh, a no cover charge, 7 p.m. Will this be the first gig? For you guys? Mm, right. Well, well no, you guys, you guys no, have played no, together in the past, but first real gig. 
Yeah, first one un uh, under this name, right? <laughs> okay, first uh, one under this name, for sure. Yeah, you had to change the name. I, I remember the handcuffs, uh, uh, the sign you were giving me earlier. So <laughs> we won't mention the names of the other bands that you may be wanted for. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about uh, we'll go out on a song and uh, sure. look forward to catching the rest of your uh, yeah. your um, libretto uh, on Thursday night over at Vanessa, 7 p.m., folks. Yep, well, I decided I wanted to learn how to play slide guitar, so I've been teaching myself to play slide guitar, so I had to write a few songs for it. So. I went down to the water Looking for my baby, ask my friends about her. All I said was maybe she's gone. Your baby's gone. Well, I don't know what she's doing, but I believe there must be something going on. What's going on? What's going on? Well, I know it can't be right. She's slipping out at night. What's going on? Baby's always missing in her high heel shoes. Don't know who she's kissing, but it sure gives me the blues. And she's gone. My baby's gone. Well, I don't know what she's doing, but I believe there must be something going on. What's going on? What's going on? Well, I know it can't be right. She's slipping out at night. What's going on? all done up while she hums a little tune then she's gone my baby's gone well i don't know what she's doing but i believe there must be something going on what's going on what's going on well i know it can't be right she's slipping out at night what's going on well i don't know what she's doing but i believe there must be something going on well, she don't even say goodbye, but leave there's something going on. Oh, yes, Freddie Lopez and Jerry Ferris in studio with us. And Honey Harris never shy about pointing <laughs> out my mispronunciations to me at uh, every opportunity and uh, <laughs> mentioned I'm, I've been mispronouncing Asekia. Is that, is that right? Asekia Madre. You guys didn't point that out to me, that I was getting the name of your band wrong. Hey, wait. <laughs> it's your radio station. <laughs> okay, I'm writing myself a pronunciation guide. Um, anyway, this is, uh, it's been a real pleasure to have both you guys in today, and uh, I love the sound. You'll be able to see them live at tomorrow night, uh, Thursday night, rather, uh, Vanessi of Santa Fe over on Water Street, uh, right down the block from uh, Guadalupe, uh, Thursday night, uh, 7 p.m. showtime. You guys, I figure, will probably be doing two sets no cover charge, always a fun place to hang the new uh, Vanessi uh, listening room and uh, always a, a blast. So uh, uh, we'll look forward to hearing more from you guys in the future. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thanks for coming down. Next up in Studio 2, we've got Dengue Fever. Hopefully I'm uh, pronouncing that right. Wednesday uh, at 3 o'clock and on Friday, Crystal Bowersox will be in. If you remember the, the dreadlocked Americana girl from American Idol a couple of uh, seasons back. That's who she is. She's in town with John O'Manson and they'll be by Friday at 3. So, Freddie, spreading it around, I'm spreading the love around. around. And, uh, how and I don't you? need no badge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how about you, Jerry? Uh, well, I played for many years with uh, with uh, Frank Ricard and, and various uh, and sundry others. Uh, I think we, we used the name uh, we used, uh, Wild Abandon and uh, then Reckless Abandon, excuse me, Reckless Abandon. And then... Uh, the Jerry Ferris All Stars for a long time. I've done a lot of presenting too. I was entertainment director at, at the I'm Bogey a Movie. Great, great fan of the Bogey Movie. I watched it with my grandson recently, uh, trying to uh, trying to introduce him to some of the great lines in movies. And that movie, of course, has one. What was that line? I'm, I'm badges. 
Oh. You don't need no stinking badges. <laughs> Of course, that, that made it into quite a few movies after yes. that, too, <laughs> including my favorite, Blazing Saddles. Um, so you guys have, uh, you know, are so familiar to me from playing around town. Um, uh, how about your pedigree? Some, who have you guys played with in the past? You know, some of the name of a band uh, in this town in a long, <laughs> long time. Um, we've got Freddie Lopez and Jerry Ferris in the studios with us, uh, Santa Fe's dynamic duo, who will be doing a show uh, Thursday night at Vanessi in Santa Fe, 7 p.m., no cover charge to get in, so you can uh, check out this brand new band and we're going to check them out on the radio right now welcome gentlemen Hola. thank you very much it is great to have you both here uh, how'd you come up with the name or should i even bother I, asking i have wanted to use the name for a long time treasure of the Aseke madre and of course um, it's a take off on the, the bands and musicians you guys have uh, uh played with uh let's see i used to play with the santa bakers the santa fakers um also uh, dabbled with other people in town like jim allman alex mario and currently, I play with Broom Dust Caravan and Anthony Leon in the Chain. And I'm also going to be doing some duos with Kate Mann from Taos at Vanessi and the Nolan Redmond Band, a country, new country band at Tiny. Hi there, straight up 3 o'clock, Ira Gordon with you on the radio and online at SantaFe.com, keyword KBAC. So many times I interview and have musical guests in the studios that, uh, well, for lack of a better word, are repeat offenders. Uh, it's really nice to... Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's getting ready to get that cuffs put on him. Uh, it's really nice to welcome a brand new band into the studio, although you guys have been around a while. First of all, let me just say uh, the Treasures of the Asequia Madre may be my favorite name.